So today we're going to be focusing on a song uh, by Shade Jennifer's talk. It's called Count Me Out. And the reason why I chose this song is because it's a loop, and but it allows us to do some kind of uh, really cool triad movement. Just like it's not in the song, but we can add it to the song. So I want to talk about how we're going to add it, where we're going to place it, because placement is key whenever you're starting to do these kind of R&B movements in order to make yourself really kind of stand out and not feel like you're being too busy. You don't want to be too busy, but you want to be intentional. And that's what we want to talk about uh, with this particular song. So this song is in the key of F sharp major. So I, I like to use the numbers. If you're not that well versed in the number system, I highly suggest that you go check out some of the courses that I have on my other site called Carrie's Camp. Um, but let's just jump right in. So we're gonna start on that four, six. We're gonna do this pickup. So it's really important because that's gonna be in the song. So four, six, pick up. We're gonna keep doing that riff. So I'm going to that triad movement. So with this triad movement, I can either do that whole walk up. Or I can do. That's probably typically what I'm going to do. Then three, six. So that triad movement. Cool, so let's play along with the song. Let's see how we're gonna place it. You hear the change? So we're not doing all the little melodic stuff in between it. Here we go. So the thing about placement is it's a very small window when you're trying to fit this stuff in the kind of the tasteful ear candy, if you will. So you have to be really intentional about making sure you're locking it in in the right place. That's why I said it's like a very small window. You have to really work on your timing. So if you're not really that clean with that whole triad movement, just practice looping it. Because you want it to be subtle enough to where it's not too busy, but stands out enough to where it's like, it's like, ooh, that was nice, that's the ear candy. So you've gotta be really intentional whenever you start to talk about the placement and putting like certain movements in a song like this. So again, uh, the name of this song is Count Me Out, it's by Shay Jennifer. Uh, the song is in, in F sharp major. That triad movement that we're doing is off of the six, so. Off of the E flat. So it's a really cool song, it's just a loop, so it's just an idea that you can start to use for you to enhance your playing. So there's probably a lot of R&B songs that kind of have the same kind of feeling vibe. If you can nail this down, you can use and apply the same principles for other songs. All right, hopefully you love this lesson. To get more help with your guitar journeys, watch these videos.